Hello everyone, it's really nice to be able to talk to you today. This is my first assembly of the term and I must say I'm incredibly proud of all of you. As I've been walking around the school, you've been showing respect to one another, you've been getting on with your work, having fun with your friends and having the most amazing time. So today I'm going to mention respect a little bit, that is our value of the month, but I also want to talk to you about staying safe. So this is our termly safeguarding assembly. So you might remember some of the other assemblies that um, I have done and I've spoken to you about how to keep safe, particularly those ones um, that included Buddy from the NSPCC. So I want to do a little reminder today of some of those things you've heard and then talk to you about some new things. So I'm just going to share my screen with you. So if there's anything in today's assembly that makes you feel worried or upset, or you're not really sure what it meant and you've got some questions, that's OK, because you can talk to somebody in school or if it's when you're thinking about it at home, you can use our online worry box. You might remember that during the school closure for um, the pandemic that we talked about the worry box and we put that online for you to use. Well, that's still there and you can still use it. I wonder if you can think of anybody else or somebody that you might want to talk to if you're worried. Maybe if you're not going to wait until the end of the day to get home and talk to your parents, there might be somebody in school. Turn to the person sitting next to you. Who do you think you can talk to in school? OK, so you might have said um, a trusted adult. So you might have said your teacher, teaching assistant, lunchtime supervisor. You might have said Mrs. Rehow. You might have said one of the, the admin ladies in the office. You might have said me or Mr. Dunmore, um, a play worker. Any of the adults in school are happy to listen to you. You might have said that you tell a friend and that's OK. But remember, if you tell a friend, then the two of you need to go and speak to an adult who can help you with your worries. And of course, you can always contact Childline on that phone number or on the Internet or use your worry box in class. So lots of ways that you can get help if you feel worried. Now, when we've talked about worries before, we've talked about that adults are not allowed to hurt children. Well, today I'm also going to tell you that brothers and sisters aren't allowed to hurt each other and your friends aren't allowed to hurt you either. And we've talked about something called neglect. And we've talked about abuse and Buddy says there's lots of things that aren't OK. And I'm just going to remind you of those before I go on to talk about some other things today. So adults are not allowed to say unkind words, call you names or shout at you or tell you unkind things. That's called emotional abuse. It's also if adults shout at one another or call each other names and you hear it, that's also a type of abuse and that's not OK. Adults are not allowed to hurt you, so they're not allowed to hit you or punch you or kick you or scratch you or do something that might hurt you. That's not OK. That's called physical abuse. Some families, they may you may not have enough to eat or you might have not have clean clothes or a bed to sleep in. You might not have something warm to wear when it's cold outside and these families need some extra help because that's called neglect and that's a type of abuse and that's not OK. So if you share that worry with an adult, we can help you get some help for that. The other thing that adults are not allowed to do is they're not allowed to show you photos of other people's body parts and they're not allowed to touch your body parts that are covered by your underwear. That's called sexual abuse and that's not OK. So that's a reminder of the things I've spoken to you about before. And just to remember that all these things here are not OK and it's never a child's fault. So a little reminder there on the screen of Pantasaurus. So remember, your underwear covers your private parts and they belong to you. And remember, you can always say, no, stop, I don't like it when you feel uncomfortable for anybody coming close to you or touching you. There's a reminder there of Buddy and Childline. Today, I want to talk to you about a different type of harm and it's called online harm. So this is where some people pretend to be children. So some adults might pretend to be children because they want to harm children. So I want to talk to you about how you keep safe while you're using the Internet, because the Internet is a fantastic thing. And I'm sure you do all these things that are on the screen. You might do play games. You might do some live streaming. You might message people or chat to people. It might be a great way of keeping in contact with, uh, with your wider family. 
or some of your friends, particularly during the school holidays, and that's all OK as long as you're doing it safely. So I'm going to talk to you about that. Now, this part of the assembly, I'm splitting into three parts. The first part is for everybody. The next part is for children in years three, four, five and six. And the last part is for children in years five and six. So your teacher needs to listen out for when it's time to stop the video. OK, I wonder if you can recognise any of these. I bet you can. Put your hand up to just to, to so if you uh, you know one of these. I'm sure your teacher's looking around the room now and smiling and you're probably smiling too because these are all such great fun. If we're doing them safely, I know I can certainly spot some of those from, from what my daughter does at home. And she has great fun talking to her friends. She plays the games, they watch it. It's called streaming. She has chat on there. And she does that where I can see her because it's really important that you're using your tablet, your phone, your device, your laptop, where an adult can keep you safe. You might also recognise some of these. If you don't use these, there might be adults in your house that do and you might have seen them. So this is a way where you can chat to other adults. Um, you can do some, again, live, live streaming. So where you're, you might record something and as you're, as you're recording it, you're showing it on the internet. Um, it's another way where people can comment and uh, share ideas. But it's also a way where some people can be unkind. because that's So today we're going to talk about how we can be safe while we're doing these things. So I want to share with you this video. So this video um, is from a website called Think You Know. And it's um, from a organisation called SEOP and they um, like to keep children safe online. So I am going to share this with you and I want you just to look at what things they do, who, what you think are safe and what things do they do where you think they are not safe. So let's have a look together. group and entering this year's band competition Whoa! but we're trying to decide which poster to use what do you think let us know you have to be friends with us first to comment so add us if you are one but we'll only accept people we know we'll be doing more videos so watch this space There's something weird about my photo in that one. Uh, nope, can't see it. Can we use the other one in school? I don't want everyone to see this one. Can it just be on our group page or something? Sure. Done. <laughs> Ours is better than the Popcorn Wizard's new poster. <laughs> hmm? On their page. I can't see it. Me either. Aren't you friends with Megan? No. No. Just add her. I have. She never accepted. Me too. Why you and not us? I don't know. Because I'm cool. <laughs> and my mum knows Megan's mum, so I was already friends with her. Mm. Look. <laughs> this is when she was a baby. <laughs> 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 Who knew Ice Cool Megan could be so cute? I know. There, I've made it public so everyone can see. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, <laughs> no, nothing. The, the nothing photo. The, the Megan photo. <laughs> I know your secret. What secret? Well, actually, everyone knows your secret. What secret? You can't play guitar. Not really. It's all mine. Huh, that's stupid. Who told you that? Sam told everybody. He posted it on our page. <gasps> oh dear, 
I suppose you can't see it then. <laughs> You're lying! Max! Yeah, guitar off! <laughs> <laughs> Told you you couldn't play. At least not like a popcorn wizard. Woo! Popcorn wizard! Oh, and it's true, by the way. Sam, Ellie can't play guitar. Sam, Alfie cries after every song. Ellie and Alfie steal all their ideas from the popcorn wizards. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ellie! Don't talk to me! I'm leaving the band! What? Why? You know why! <laughs> Magnus heard about the song of You are still the best. Thanks. You're my only friend right now. Sam, everyone is talking about the Popcorn Wizards page. I thought we were friends and you're posting nasty things about us. That's not like you. What? Hmm. Popcorn Wizards! <laughs> Who called us? I didn't post any nasty posts. That's preposterous! Liar. I'm not. Liar. I'm not. Tell me, liar. I'm not. Did you or did you not also make a photo of baby me public? No. Liar. No. Liar. I'm oh, sorry. I did. We all did. Sorry. We'll take it down. I knew it. Then fine. I too confess. I was the imposter. <gasps> I saw your password and used your account to make those nasty posts. Not cool. Ellie, stop crying, you wuss. How can you ever hope to have as many followers as us if you blub every time someone disses your music? It's not about followers, Megan. It's about being good. And our fans love our music, not our poses. We do have great poses. And we'll see what matters at the competition tomorrow, fools. Wizards away! Thank you, Sam. I'm sorry we didn't believe you. You're better than that. And we're better than the popcorn wizards. Whoa, popcorn wizards. That's OK. We are better. So let's prove it on the stage tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so some of those children in that video, they, they weren't particularly friendly to one another, were they? They certainly weren't showing the value of respect. But I wonder how safe they were online. Well, first of all, it was a little bit odd that Sam was happy to have his photograph that he didn't like online, but not in school. I think what Sam didn't realise there is that actually when you put something on the internet, there are far more people that are going to see it than, than people who are in your school. So he didn't really think about that. And then... Megan had seen his password, so she wasn't showing him respect because she then used it to post things on a chat about the band that weren't very kind and pretended to be Sam. But Sam shared a photo of Megan without her permission. And that really, that's not right. We should never share anything online without anybody's permission. They might not want their photo shared and any comments that you make they will go on and they will be online forever. My most thing that I was the most worried about was the behaviour of Ellie. So Ellie got really upset, but she'd been talking to this person called Magnus, who she thought was a friend. But Ellie doesn't know Magnus. Ellie doesn't know if Magnus is a boy or a girl or a man or a woman. She thinks that Magnus is her only friend. And because Magnus has been kind to her, she starts to talk to Magnus. It could be an adult who wants to harm her. So 
So what could she have done? Rather than messaging Magnus, who could have helped her? Turn to the person sitting next to you. That's right. Magnus doesn't know. Uh, Ellie doesn't know Magnus. As I said, doesn't know who it is. Could be anybody pretending to be a child. So better off to talk to a close friend, a family member or an adult who she trusts. Now, that photograph was shared and that really wasn't very kind. So I want us to think a little bit about what's OK to share and not share. So you're going to use thumbs up. OK to share. In the middle, if you need more information or it depends or thumbs down if it's not OK to share. So I'm going to read some things to you now and I want you to think if it's OK, maybe or not OK. So. Let's see. So this first one, back to Ellie. She's going to share a photo of her pet rabbit. Is that OK? Maybe not OK. Use your thumb to show your teacher. Yeah, that's right. That's OK to share. It's a very cute rabbit. There's no personal information there. She's not giving anything away. OK. Megan shares a video of Ellie crying. OK. Depends. Not OK. Let's see. Yeah, that's not OK. That's not kind. She's not shown her respect. And actually, if she shares that, someone could share it to someone else and someone else and someone else. And that's not kind at all. She needs to show some empathy for Ellie and think about why Ellie's crying and try and be put herself in her shoes. So that's not OK. So Sam, he shares a photo of his brother who's just got out of the bath. What do you think? Yeah, that's not OK. Sam's brother might be a big brother or a small brother, but it doesn't matter. He might just be wrapped in a towel or have nothing on at all. So it's never OK to share photos of someone without permission and with no clothes on. So what about if someone you don't know asks you to share a photo of yourself online? Would that be OK or not OK? Show your teacher. Yeah, that's right. That's not OK. You should never be sharing any information or any photographs or videos with somebody you don't know. That's not safe behaviour. If somebody asks you to do that, then you need to make sure that you tell your mum or, or your dad or the adult who looks after you in your home. And they can then block that person and report it, which is really important. So that's the end of the assembly for years one and two. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you could spot what was safe and what wasn't safe. Now, you might have heard some things at the beginning of the assembly or maybe in the middle that you weren't sure of, that you need to ask more questions about or that worry you. That's OK, because remember, you've got your trusted adult that you named earlier, you've got Childline, the worry box in class and the worry box online. And when you get home from school, you can talk to your mum and dad as well. OK, year one and two, I will see you around school and I hope you have a fabulous day. Everybody else, we're going to move on to talk about live streaming. So I wonder if you know what this is. So live streaming is where you're playing a game or you're um, performing or you're recording a video, singing, dancing, something like that, maybe on TikTok or YouTube or Facebook Live or within a game itself. And it's live. So what you're doing, other people can see at the same time. OK, so that's called live streaming. And often you might live stream a game that you're playing together or you're showing somebody else and people can comment. So you have lots of comments coming up at the same time. And when we're doing this, you need to think around when if you're put thing, putting things out there. So it's live. It's probably going to be recorded. It could be screenshots. Someone could share it. And it's part of what we call a digital footprint. So imagine that you're walking through some freshly laid concrete and it's still wet and you put your foot in it. When you take your foot out, it's leaving that footprint that when the concrete goes hard, it's going to stay there forever. Well, that's what it's like when you do things on the Internet. You share a picture, a video, you write a comment that's there for everyone can see. And it's really hard to take it back again. So it's really important that you don't share things that you don't have permission to share. You don't share your personal information with people you don't know. And when you're actually typing messages, think about would you like that message? Would it make you feel good inside or would it make you feel horrible inside? So you need to think about empathy and how the other person would feel when they read it. That's really important because we can get positive and negative attention. And sometimes people do things to get negative attention. So let's think about what that means. So positive attention, that's when someone says, well done, you're doing a great job and everyone loves that. 
someone might say something kind or friendly or say they like you or they like what you're wearing or they you've done some fantastic work great it's a positive attention negative attention might be when someone makes a mean comment says unkind words says things about the way you look or when people put pressure on you to do things you don't want to do sometimes that can happen online so let's go back to alfie so he's live streaming while he's playing his favorite game and he noticed some street, some comments coming up on his stream. And I want you to decide whether they are positive, green or negative attention, red. So, so he's playing and then he sees this 20 messages saying from someone saying he has to live stream and play games with him. Now, he doesn't know who this person is, but he's getting these messages. Should he accept? Is that positive or negative attention? Hands up for positive. Hands up for negative. Yeah, that's negative attention. He doesn't know who this person is. Why is he sending 20 messages? What about if one of Alfie's friends comments and tells people how Alfie's, Alfie's been playing this game and it's great. Now he knows how to get to the next level. He's shown him. Is that positive? Hands up. Negative hands up. Yeah, that's someone being a good friend saying, great, Alfie knows how to play this game. He's taught me how to do it too. What about if someone in Alfie's class keeps offering him lots of gifts? That's really kind, isn't it? Offering gifts. But in return, he wants Alfie's password. Is that positive? Hands up. Negative. Yeah. So this is somebody who's given what might look like positive attention. He's giving gifts, but he wants something in return. Often, if people offer you gifts, they want something in return. And this is a way that some adults online want to hurt children well that's how they do it they start by being nice and giving gifts so it's something to be aware of so what about if this person on the game that Alfie doesn't know he's been watching Alfie's live streaming saying lots of lovely things and then says let's go and play chat in a private chat room or play on a private server is that a positive or negative thing hands up if you think that's positive hands up if you think that's negative you should never go into a private chat room or play on a private server with somebody you don't know. That's another way adults who want to harm children will get children involved in what they're doing. If that happens, you must tell an adult and that adult can block and report. So this person who Alfie doesn't know has been sending him all these messages um, is trying all of these different ways to get Alfie to notice this person. It might be a he, might be a she, they might be pretending to be a child, could be a lady or a man. So let's help Alfie try and identify the ways that this person is trying to get Alfie's attention. So there's some chat here and the person's saying, can we team up today? And Alfie's saying, yeah, later though, I have school. So it's an all don't leave, I'll gift you some reward points. So I know when we're playing games and we can get points or um, things like Robux or anything that's gonna help us get further on in the game is, is really quite enticing. So what's this person doing to try and get Alfie's attention? Is it threats, offering rewards, or sending lots of messages? Yeah, that's right. Offering rewards, trying to get Alfie to like them, to actually join in, to be part of the conversation. What about now? All these messages, they're just from this one person. Are you there? Let's say hello, hello. He's trying to get Alfie's attention. Is this person making threats, offering rewards, or sending lots of messages? That's right, can be quite irritating, quite annoying, sending lots of messages. If this happens to you, you must tell an adult so they can block and report. And this last one, this person's not very nice all of a sudden. Alfie hasn't done what Alfie wants the person to do. So starts making threats. And that might happen because adults who want to hurt children, they might start with being nice, offering gifts, chatting in a private room, playing a game, and then they might say, Oh, send me a photo of you. I don't know what you look like. So thus you send a photo and then they might say, oh, send me a photo of you doing something and like playing your game. And you might do that. And then the next photo, they might be asking you to do something that's quite uncomfortable. And they might say, send me a photo of you without your top on. And that's not OK. So adults who want to hurt children online, they try and get children to like them. So. This is why it's really important that you never take part in a conversation with somebody you don't know. And if somebody asks you to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable, that you know is wrong, then you must tell an adult at home or an adult in school so we can help you with that. 
So block and report is really important. And you might see um, this little red red and white symbol, it's called CEOP, and that goes straight through to the police. If you see that when you're gaming and you're worried, you can click on that. And there are some trained adults who know about adults who hurt children, um, particularly those who do that through the internet. And that's gonna get you help straight away. Somebody will be able to talk to you and your family about how to block and report the person. So remember to talk to your parents, talk to an adult in school, or use the CEOP button. Lots of ways to get help if you're worried about things online. So that's the end of the assembly for years three and four. So if I would said anything today that's worried you or you're concerned about or you want to find a little bit more about, or maybe there's something you need to tell us. Don't forget, you can tell your trusted adult that you mentioned earlier. You can contact Childline. You can use the worry box in your class or you can use the worry box online. So years three and four, I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you around school soon. OK, years five and six. I want to talk to you just for a little bit longer because let's go back to Alfie and the person who's trying to get Alfie's attention and I said that actually the next thing that Alfie this person might do is ask Alfie to send a picture of himself with no top on or maybe no clothes on or to do something and that might happen you might have people that ask you to send a picture of you with semi nude or nude and that's not okay. It's not okay for people to share photos with you and it's not okay for them to ask you to share photos. And I think what we need to be careful is here because you might think, oh, well, that's never going to happen to me. But sometimes it can start off with just being a bit of a game and a bit of fun and you might be messing around with your mates and you might take some funny photos and then you might share them. You might start off with, you know, taking photos of your face being funny and then taking photos of different body parts being funny and then sharing them online because it's all a bit funny. But what could happen then is that someone can screen print those, those screenshot those photos and send them on again and again. Let's watch, let's watch what happens in this video. So this is from the NSPCC who are part of Childline and this is called I Saw Your Willy. One day, Alex and Sam were mucking around on their phones. Why don't you take a selfie? Yeah. Then Sam had an idea. I'll take a picture. What if they sent a picture of Alex's willy to their friend Katie? You know, the kind that disappears in a few seconds. When Katie saw it, she thought it was very funny. So she screen grabbed the picture and sent it to her friends. And they sent it to theirs. And the next day at school... Alex even got a message from a bully. He then got one from a man he didn't know. Sometimes children share things they shouldn't online. OK, so that didn't go too well for him, did it? It started off as a game. Someone screenshot it, passed it on, passed it on, passed it on. And then somebody who he didn't know, an adult, saw it and started sending him messages. It can all go quite drastically wrong. At this point, when you realise that something's happened, and perhaps if it did start as a game, it's still OK to tell an adult to tell us what's happened because we can help you sort it out. But the main thing is that sharing pictures of your body parts or other people's body parts is not OK, even if you think somebody who's a friend of yours has asked for it. And the effect... Because the thing is, if someone's asking you for these things, as I said right at the beginning, you don't know if it's a child your age. You don't know if it's a man or a lady pretending to be a child. You don't know what their job is, why they want the photos. And often people who want to hurt children, they go out of their way to make the child like them. And it's not OK. So just think before you send or join in a chat or a game or accept gifts or virtual tokens of anything like that from somebody you don't know because that is not safe. So we've talked there about sharing pictures of body parts and that's not okay. We talked right at the beginning of the assembly around some of the things that um, adults might do which is sexual abuse like sharing images or um, touching you in your underwear area and that's not okay. But sometimes children in school do things um, 
between boys and girls that isn't okay as well. And I just want to talk to you about those. So these are sorts of things that might happen online or offline. So sometimes you might make comments that you think is just a joke about a boy or a girl or a relationship that you're, you're, you're mimicking somebody, taunting someone, or you just think you're jesting um, and it's just funny. So you might say something about the way that somebody looks, their body shape, maybe their bodies are changing as they're going through puberty. Maybe you're a boy and you make a comment about the way a girl looks. You're a girl, you might make a comment about how a boy looks because their bodies are changing and that's not okay because that's a sexual comment and a sexual joke or taunting is harassment and that's not allowed. It makes people feel uncomfortable about themselves and you're not showing respect for yourself or them or any empathy. So there might be some times when you you might follow people in the playground and you and you and because you're just making fun of them or you're you push against them. Um, that's not OK. Or there might be times when the online stuff happens. So we've talked about that. So including sharing images and videos. So you might take a picture of a person. You might doctor the picture, send it on or just send it on anyway, make comments. You might see a picture of somebody and make a comment on it about their body shape, their body size. That's sexual harassment and that's not OK. You might make inappropriate comments about somebody in the playground, in the classroom, online. And again, that's not OK. If any of these things have happened to you and you've got some children in your class or another class or perhaps brothers or sisters or people at home that are making comments about the way you look, um, perhaps the way that you do things, um, perhaps about um, relationships within your family, then you need to talk to a trusted adult because we can help you with that because that type of behaviour is not acceptable and we're really clear on that here. It's not showing our values. It's not you being the best person you could possibly be. So if you're somebody who makes these comments, just think, do I want that comment made about me? And if you don't, then stop. If these things are happening to you, then talk to us about it and we can help you. So you might have heard some things today that you thought, yeah, I know about that. That's not going to happen to me. But what I'd like you to take away from today's assembly is about being safe. If you're worried about something that's happening to you or a friend, talking about it. If you're worried about something online that's happening or someone's asked you to do, talk about it. If you think that you can make comments about people and the way they look and their shape and their size, stop. And if people are making comments about you and you don't like it, it's not right, tell us. So there's lots of ways there on the screen to remind you about how you can get help if you need it. I'm sure you've had enough of me today, so it's time for you to stop the assembly. Um, you might want to have a, a brief chat with your class teacher and then move on with your learning for the rest of the day. But I'm sure some of these thoughts will come back to you throughout the day and maybe throughout the next week and beyond. But at any point, remember, you can get help through any of these channels. Have a fabulous day and I will see you soon.